very clear very clear absolutely what exactly i didn't tell you i said just read and everybody started pouncing quickly in the diaries okay let's write down the colors and this is what happens in a class you need to understand what exactly i want you to do so this is something just to get you back into that your communication is very very important in a class next slide which i want to show is six ways you know how you can uh, create it very engaging let children guide you you know you are the boss of the class you should never forget that you are the teacher but in a in a real in a face to face class in a virtual class there is a difference the difference is that here children the small children they want to touch you they want to feel you they can't do that they're not able to do that they're missing you i'm sure they are you know all small kids they love their teachers i mean you know whenever there was a teachers day and when i was taking the senior classes i used to be very jealous of the pre primary teachers because those kids will come with huge bouquets while as the children grow they say forget it we don't care but so your kids really connect with you so let children guide you which we'll talk about it later as we move forward provide meaningful alternatives to screen time i have written very clearly at the bottom this is what i feel it's my personal belief i may be wrong i may be right but this is what i think with my experience with the children that in a week two classes for nursery i'm saying 45 minutes because 5 10 minutes they will take to sit down is just enough and this is not a class where you can teach them you know it is a very different ball game when you're doing a virtual class it is all about creating an engaging environment so maybe it's a storytelling time or it's a puppet time or it is a rhyme time or whatever and for a kindergarten maybe you know three classes that's what i feel so you have to remember a very important point which i point out that families are your partners in the early years <coughs> you know we cannot bring much difference in a child if we do not partner with parent you know we, you may be teaching in the phonics you know a uh, the parent is teaching a there is a confusion so it is very very important to build a strong partnership in the pre primary years for the teacher with the parents let's not look at each other as enemies i know sometimes we do because parents become very demanding but fine you know we are teachers we are educationists we know exactly we we are like like a doctor knows how to treat his patient teachers know we know how to educate we we are trained for that of course we are not trained for teaching children in their homes but we do know how should we teach them what is you know important for a child so families are your partners which we'll again go later as we will Uh, you know on the most slides the remote relationship building is critical this is a very important part how do we build a remote relationship how do i make sure that when when i am holding a class that 45 minutes class on a monday and a friday that's what i would recommend because give children the time let the parents do some work now you know yeah they may need to do it's their kid also and there's a very beautiful poem where poem sorry a boos child it is and in the first para the teacher says my child and in the mother parent says my child and the second para the teacher says my child and in the third para both the teacher and the parent they say it's our child and nothing we can do if both the parent and the teacher don't collaborate you we we cannot teach kids how to read if parents don't read i mean i have been heading school and i have had parents coming to me up you know teach my kid how to read a book i said i always used to ask them do you read do you even pick up a book and read if you don't read because you are the child's idol you have to do it we will give you the guidance we know like a doctor tells okay these are the medicines you are supposed to have in the morning two tablets afternoon one tablet evening two tablets whether you take it or you don't take it that depends on the person the doctor can come home and say put it open your mouth and put the tablets no you can't do that right agreed yes or no raise your hand if you say i can see gauri gauri yes so that is important you need to understand also very important is that when you are teaching pre primary kids they are very demanding we must understand that they are very very demanding because they are inquisitive 
They're curious at that age. They haven't seen the world. They want to know what is happening around. They want to know, they want to ask you very silly questions sometimes. They will complain to you. We need to have one big quality. And I appreciate the pre-primary teachers for that. Patience patience because that's all that's a very very important skill and and we sometimes the teachers become so patient that they don't even respond when a parent is saying something wrong so don't be so patient be patient with the child not with the parent you need to tell them we know how to teach we know how to educate we know what will be impactful you know and you have to guide the parent how he can compliment you at home because virtual teaching is very difficult for the early years see they cannot sit right so how do we make it engaging i'm just going to go back to the screen music is magical play music for them give them a lot of music and be kind to yourself don't lose patience there will be time you're trying to teach, uh, tell a song two kids are looking here one kid is looking there the father is there with the kid or the mother is relax have confidence because remember you are brilliant if you are brilliant you can never be wrong if you are prepared you can never be wrong you don't have to lose that confidence which is the key for your success so extremely important how do we better engage children integrate technology of course now technology is there you are doing zoom sessions you can show them you know little stories but as i said in one 45 minute class five minutes settling down, opening circle time, very, very important. You know, sometimes we forget, oh, the children can't sit. Of course they are there. We're going to have a circle time. Everybody is going to talk about how was their day yesterday. Okay, so you say, take their individual names. Names are very important. We all like to be identified by our names. Agreed or no? Yeah, I can only see Gauri. <laughs> yeah. So, you have to take their name because the minute somebody says Shalini, I look. If, you, if you're saying, hey, look this side, I'm telling a story, they're not going to look. You have to create an excitement. You have to say, okay, how was your day? Circle time you cannot neglect even in a virtual class. Please remember that. That should be part of your plan. How do we do it? The opening circle time, the closing circle time. And I will tell you how we can make it more.